So, Jerry, there's been talk of high-speed rail for years. Is it any closer to happening? Well, if you listen to the backers of a high-speed passenger rail service, they say the stars are aligning, or should we say the tracks are aligning. It's been around for decades in Europe and in Asia, but high-speed rail service has never found a home in North America. Now the idea is gaining momentum. This is reality. This is what happens when you build high-speed rail. Nonprofit advocacy group High Speed Rail Canada was called upon by the London Economic Development Corporation and the Ontario Professional Planners Institute to organize a symposium to discuss a high speed rail link from Windsor to Quebec City. What if for the last 50 years we didn't invest in roads? What if in the last 50 years we didn't address our sewer systems, we didn't upgrade them? What kind of mess would we be in? Well, unfortunately, with passenger rail, we haven't done the same kind of investment for 50 years. So there's no two ways about it. It's going to cost a lot of money to catch up. But in spending that money, you're going to create jobs, create a better quality of life, and improve the environment. On hand were representatives from the three companies considered leaders in high-speed rail technology, Alstom, Bombardier, and Siemens. High-speed rail is uh, long overdue in Canada. There have been um, over 14 studies done over the years and all demonstrated that there would be a lot of benefits to having high-speed rail. The president of the London Economic Development Commission says rail service would bring significant opportunities to this area. It opens up another whole broad area of people looking at London as being, you know, again, a, a place that they can enjoy the culture, the lifestyle here, but also then get much more rapid access to the markets they need to reach. In a bit of irony, keynote speaker David Cullinette, the former federal transport minister and longtime rail proponent, arrived late after his flight from Ottawa was delayed and traffic on the 401 from Toronto became snarled. If there was ever a time for high-speed rail, it was today. Cullinette admits the emphasis on a high-speed rail link would be from Toronto to Quebec City, but he feels that would be short-sighted. President Obama has announced there will be a high-speed rail system, including a high-speed rail between Detroit and Chicago. Well, we have to... Uh, step up to the plate and link into that. So Windsor becomes extremely crucial. Now, much of the interest in high-speed rail has been sparked by President Barack Obama's comments that he wants to make rapid rail a priority. And Canada comes into a play in a number of these circumstances. As an example, Vancouver to Seattle. That's a potential link. Boston to Montreal is another potential link. They're also talking about a high-speed rail link between Edmonton and Calgary. Tara? It sounds interesting. Thanks so much.